Hey guys, it's me, Kevin is Best Whitey here, and welcome back to Kill or Love. Yes, so we either have so we either have an option to kill or to love. This is basically the game, yes. And welcome back. This is part two, actually. Yes, part two. I'm serious, part two. Yeah, you know. I thought about it. I saw Okay, so I heard a little bit about this game. I didn't spoil myself, which was a good thing. But I heard that DeAndre, the girl, the nurse girl that we've seen, you know, on the first thumbnail of my video of this game, um, she kind of freaky deaky. I mean, like, yo, that's what people are saying. So I'm like, ooh. I'm like, ooh, for real? Oh. I mean, like, hey, not bad. So before we get to the freaky side, why not leave a like? Subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys could get notified when I upload and yeah And also if you subscribe, okay, you hit that subscribe button right now You'll be part of the Kevin is best YT squad. Hey, you know, it's free man All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button make sure to like the video if you don't have you could comment But you don't really have to if you don't want to but still also if you guys have any game recommendations You want you want me to play, you know, comment down below. I'll I'll add them to the games of you know a list of games that I'll play you know, for you guys on this channel. But either way, we're gonna start right now, alright? So yeah. Left off where we asked the the guy if we're if we're able to walk on crunches and he said, I don't know. So I don't know. What? What? <laughs> you're you're a doctor, aren't you? My doctor? The very same. Who do you think operated on you? I look I look down at my leg. I suddenly feel very unsure of what I'll see when the cast comes off. Can't you at least guess? Can you at least guess when I'll be able to walk? I'd rather not. The nurse standing next to the doctor looks uncomfortable. She's holding a hand to her forehead and sighing. But why not? Don't I deserve to know? Well, a lot of fractures are at play here, you see. The doctor starts moving his right hand in complex patterns. Plenty of, plenty of fractures can change how quickly you heal. A whole lot. So you can't. So who can really say? Factors like what? Oh, so many of them. Like what? Like, uh. He glances down at his paper, like your blood pressure, which is crap, by the way. Are you stressing her over something? Yes. No. No, doctor. I'm not. I'm fine. He frowns a little. Well, you'll be fine. Kick your feet back and relax. You, but you're in. Why are you in such a hurry for, anyways? You haven't got a job waiting for you outside or anything, huh? How do you know about that? Uh, well, nurse. Uh, he snaps his fingers, trying to remember. Anna, nurse Anna, that's the one. She told me. And yes, I know. I know about you two. No need to act surprised. You're a lucky guy. You know that. Yeah. Oh. So does he know about you know that scene where oh oh he knows. When I first found out, I was uh, I was against letting her care for you, being objective and all of that stuff, you know. But she really wanted to, so I thought whatever. And she's taking it well, so it's okay, I guess. The doctor stares off into space, then looks at me and grins. Oh, I see. It's her. What? She's the reason you want to get out, get to get the hell out of here, huh? I don't blame you. There's no privacy. There's no privacy here at all. Oh no, I didn't. Don't be ashamed now. I get what if I get what it's like. He drops a smile. But you can't be thinking of those of those sorts of things. You got uh, you got to rest properly. All right, all right. He leaves with a thumbs up. Oh wait, some question. How does he know about this? Yo, the two, the two of the other patients are laughing and whistling, and other, the other one is grumbling with, that must be, oh, with must, with that must be jealousy, idiots. My journal is spreading up against me. In a new hiding spot, I've moved it three times now. I've got to write in it. My thoughts are burning a hole in my skull. I've got to, sh I got to share it with someone, even if it's someone, even that someone is a piece of paper. But not now. She, she, she's still, she's still out there somewhere. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. August six. Oh, is there anything right here? No, there's nothing right there. August six. Damn it. 
God damn it all. I'm stuck here with nothing to do but lie uselessly and wait. Wait, 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 and wait. Wait and wait and wait. All I can do is wait. Nothing to do but wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> For how long? Wait. Yo, what the mood? Oh my god. That is me in class. Low key, that is me. Oh my god. That is so like me. Like when I'm doing like my online classes, I'm like, I gotta wait for the, you know, I gotta like, you know, I was like, online classes these days, you know, school, man, you know, it's tough. It's tough. All right. It's been two hours since I've written down those words. I'm looking at a little notebook, a little notebook that is my journal. I've got it in my hands. I am amazingly lucky to have it. Someone had left, had, had left both the notebook and a pen in the nightstand next to my bed. I checked the nightstand's drawer on a whim. On whim. And there they were. Oh, wait. Hold up. So you're saying that if you've... What if... Okay, okay. I got there, you guys. What if Anna put those... Put the notebook and the pen there, you know? What if she did... Oh, oh, oh. Oh damn! Oh, I'm on. I'm on to something, guys. A detective. Sheesh. A de senor detective. Mm, I'm just kidding. <sighs> now, they're the only things keeping me insane. There's no TV or books or even magazines in here. I'm counting the pages I've got left in the notebook, checking how much ink there is in my pen. Then she comes in. I feel my heart stop. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, you did. Good morning. Good morning, boys. She greets everyone, but she's only looking at me. I murmur back hello. Meanwhile, my hands are still holding the notebook. In. Ah! Clutching it, actually. I can feel breads of sweat forming on my forehead. The notebook is small, very small. My hands must be hiding it from the view. Or are they? If she notices, Anna pays. If she noticed. Anna pay, pays it pays it no mind. She wheels in the car in, with our medis, medication. While she's busy with the other patients, I slip the notebook and pen under my blanket, smoothing it over and lie quietly. How are you holding up, sweetie? I nearly jump at Anna's whispers words. I didn't I didn't notice her approach. Fine, I'm fine. Thanks. Hmm? Jack don't you remember what I told you? It's no good putting putting on a brave face. I'm I'm here for you, okay? What's this about? Does she know? Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. She's gonna I I know about everything, you see. She leans in closer. I nearly faint. Everything. E yeah? Yes. I had a little chat with your doctor, you know. And he told me all about how much trouble you're having down there. Down where? Yo, stop! Stop, yo, down where? She... Damn, she on x mode, yo. Hey, look, he, somebody break my legs. I want to go over there now. Like, take me over there. Damn. As soon as I realize what she means, my, my, my tense body loosens up. Ah, yeah, that. It's, uh... A bit of a problem, I guess. Oh, sweetie. Well, I'm sorry. Your health has pri priority over sex. But don't you worry. I'm not going anywhere. She puts her hand on my blanket and starts smoothing it out. I'm absent, absent mindly. It makes me happy, though, to see you like this again. After how you acted before your accident, I thought, never mind. Without warning, she leans in even closer. I feel her hot breath on my cheek. But since you're so eager, Jack, I promise that after your after your release, I'll give you the time of your life. I'll make you finally forget all about Grace. Oh! Her words are like a slap in my face. I could only stare back. Hmm. So you still care about? So you still care about her? I don't like that. Someone like you and someone like her. You never should have been together in the first place. Please think of only me. After all, we're made for each other. If I do, if I promise I'll be with you, always, will you leave Grace out of this? No, that's no good. 
I can't do that. Oh no, yo. Just, just your, just your asking that. It shows you're still thinking about her. She hasn't got anything to do with this. With, with what you did to me, and what, and what I'll do to you. Oh, so leave her out of it. Are you holding her somewhere? Ah, at least that girl's good for one thing. Thanks to, thanks to her. You've been a good boy, even though you're still confused. Anna, please. I close, I close to, I'm close to crying. I want to tear, I want to tear my hair out. Anna smiles again. Fine, sweetie. I'll promise I won't hurt her. As long as you do one thing for me. Do you know what that is? I do. Of course I do. It's something she's been telling me to do for ages since I got here. She's like a broken record. You want me to remember everything. Yep. Oh, I can't wait. When you do that, everything will be perfect. We'll be together again forever. So promise you'll remember. I'll, I'll promise. I'll try. No. That's no good though. You promised you would try before. And look where that got, where that got us. Tell me, will you do it again? I, I promise. I'll, I'll recall it. Uh, I'll recall it all. Good. We'll we'll work on that when you get out of here. But if your memory comes back to to you before then, tell me before you tell anyone else. Okay. Bye bye for now. Oh my God. Yo, that was insane. Oh my God. Yo, I'm shaking. Yo. That's going to give me a panic attack. If I was in that situation, I would have fainted on the spot. Like, I'm not kidding. Oh my god. Damn. She is kind of freaky, though. I, I, a little bit. You could tell that she's like, you know, she'll be a freaky person if you could tell. You know, you can Yeah, what is this? Oh my god. This is very... Oh my god. I love this game already. Oh my god. She wheels out... <clears throat> she wheels out the car, glancing back one time with an eerie look of hers. I can't tell her I already remember. I've known since before my injury. I've known that when we were both children, she... No, I can't tell her. If I do that, she wins and Grace dies. And maybe I die too. I can't win by playing along with Anna's delusions. Yo. Damn. What's this? Chapter 2, What Jack Lost. Oh, August 7. I can't just sit here waiting. I've got... I've got to wait, and I will, but I feel like I can't either. I'm doing- I'm doing nothing, and it's eating me up. If a stomach is empty long enough, it starts eating it itself. Do you know that? I know that. If you don't- if, if I don't do any- if I don't- Oh my god, if I don't do something right now, I'm afraid I might go crazy. Yo. Damn, that was a close call though, she almost caught us with the notebook. Yo. I'm going to write everything down that what happened. Maybe that'll help me make sense of things. Right now, my thoughts are buzzing together in my mind like files around a turd. I want my mind to be clear, to do what I'm to do what I'm going to do, and to do it properly. My mind needs to be clear, unclouded. The notebook is small, but I think I've got enough space to write everything down. It's not a long story. So here it goes. Everything. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, this is yo whoa okay we're gonna meet the backstory of Anna. Yo oh my god. I met Anna, met her again after so many years in a in a store where I worked. Grace wasn't there at the time. It wasn't a coincidence that Anna visited the store when she did. It couldn't it couldn't have been. She must have been following me. Oh The first time she came in I was like I was a uh, I was at the cashier register. She walked straight up to me, cutting in, cutting in line. An old woman was busy counting her change and didn't complain. Nobody else complained either. Anna stood there, stared at me. Then she... No. No, I can't do this. Can't stand. I can't start here. I can't do it. There's already too much... There's already too much of that woman in my life. I've got to start with someone else. Someone I miss. Grace. Oh, there she is. 
Grace was a girl who worked at the same store I worked at. She was, and is, and still is, still is a kind, sweet girl. She's a little quiet, but that's perfectly fine. I hated her. I hated most people, and most things. I, I was a real asshole. Oh, damn, you were? I didn't spend time with other people. Whether a co-worker invited me somewhere, I would turn them down. I didn't chat with anyone during breaks, either. It was just how I was, how I'd always been. I avoided Grace too, of course. She tried to talk me she tried to talk to me a few times, but I started avoiding her even more. I only took few ships I thought she wouldn't take. The times we ended up working together, I stayed as far away from her as I could. It worked for a while. Then came the day we talked, really talked, for the first time. I was re re restocking the shelf alongside an old, uh, alongside an old Gracie long-haired man. With when Grace came along, look at her. Instead, I became very interested in stacking cans of food onto the lower shelves. I waited for her to leave. Uh, Don, do you want do you want do you want to switch with me? All right, you can go help Susie. I already did the bottom shelves here. Don, the old man thanked her and left and grace started working next to me a minute went by i found that i couldn't work in peace just being there made me upset i had to say something i'm fine on my own hmm if you want to take a break or something you can i'm fine on my own oh no i don't mind doing this i see can't she take a hint i thought then it's um it's his back you know what don't back, don't back, don't back hurts a lot. So I ask him to switch. Oh, I see. He has trouble with, with the lower shelf, so I get it. I didn't do it to bother you, I swear. I said I get it. Okay. Aw, you're being so mean to her. Like, bro, calm down. We went on restocking. We went on restocking in silence for another minute. Um, okay, guys. Um, we're about to end the video right here. Damn, that was scary as, that was hella scary. Like, I'm not kidding. That was like very intense, okay? I, it's good, to, yeah, you know, I, I can't express these feelings, man. Then It was so good, like, yo, this is why I love you, Andre. It's like, damn, they freaky, yo. I'd be like, yo, calm down, man, like, damn. But either way, Damn, that was pretty intense. If you guys want to see part two of this video, then make sure to leave a like. Wait, part two? The Man, part three. If you guys want to see part three of this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. So that way you guys could get notified when I upload. And yeah. Damn. So who knows what's going to happen? Like, damn. But obviously, so I'm going to say this though. We're going to go with the Yandere, with the Yandere girl, obviously. We're going to take her route. And then after her route, we're going to take the other bad routes. Okay, guys? You know, just letting you guys know that we'll, that's what we're going to do. Okay? Okay. Okay. Well, then, guys. Sheesh. Yeah, that was a pretty long episode. And also, comment down below if you have any recommended games, you know, you want, you want to recommend me. You know, comment down below. I'll add them to my list. Oh, my God. My list of games. All right, guys. Then I'll see you guys on the next time. Oh, yeah. And remember, stay cool.